Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. And welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is cleanliness and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we need to sanitize so let us take our sanitizer and rub our hands very generously Remember, sanitizer is part of what keeps us very clean and far away from germs. So sanitize as regularly as possible. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing reading and problem solving. For our exercise now, boys and girls, let's turn to page eight. On page 8, we are going to be talking about verbs. It is going to be our job to read the story below and color all the verbs. Remember, a verb is a doing word. So we are looking for words that have actions to it. Let's begin. I keep my body clean. I wash my face. I brush my teeth. I comb the knots from my hair. I scrub my nails and cut them short. I dress up and eat my food, ready to walk to school. Wow, that's so interesting how someone gets ready. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of activities that, are been, that have been done that we need to find out the verbs. Remember, boys and girls, when we are doing verbs or when we are reading, the first thing is to read the story to understand. Then the second time we read the story is to make sure that we find our answers. So let us read it again. And this time as we go along, I want you to pick out all the verbs. Remember, a verb is a doing word. Let's begin. I keep my body clean. I wash my face. I brush my teeth. I comb the knots from my hair. I scrub my nails and cut them short. I dress up and eat my food. Ready to walk to school. Now, which are the verbs that you found? I'm only going to give you one verb, which is wash. I wash my face. The rest of them, you're going to find them and color them. I want you to take your time with this one. And when you are done, read the story again, just to make sure that you did not miss out any verbs. Now, let us move on to our next exercise on page 9. 
On page 9, we are going to be reading a comprehension. Remember boys and girls, a comprehension is when we have a story and then after that story, we have questions to answer. The first time when we are reading our comprehension is to understand what it is talking about. The second time is to try and find our answers. And then the third time is to make sure that our answers are correct. So, let us begin with the heading, Clean Hands. Ellie washes her hands every day. She likes to wash her hands. She washes her hands with soap and water. She uses soap and water to wash her hands. She uses warm water and soap. She washes her hands for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, she stops washing her hands. She closes the tap. She dries her hands on a clean towel. Every few hours, she turns on the tap and washes her hands. Ellie has very clean hands. She does not have many germs on her hands. Germs cannot live on her hands. Wow, Ellie seems like someone who cares about the people around her. That's why she's washing her hands. Now that we know what the story is all about, let's take a look at the questions. The first one says, and remember we're reading our questions two times. What does Ellie use to wash her hands? What does Ellie use to wash her hands? Number two says, how long does she wash her hands for? How long does she wash her hands for? Number three says, what does she do after washing her hands? What does she do after washing her hands? Number four says, what does she use to dry her hands? What does she use to dry her hands? Number five says, does Ellie have clean hands? Does Ellie have clean hands? Number six says, Why doesn't Ellie have any germs? Why doesn't Ellie have any germs? Number seven says, Write all six question words here on the line. Write all six question words here on the line. So now that we are done reading our questions, let's go back to the story and read it a second time to try and find our answers. So I'd like you to please listen carefully as we go along. Clean hands. Ellie washes her hands every day. She likes to wash her hands. She washes her hands with soap and water. She uses soap and water to wash her hands. She uses warm water and soap. She washes her hands for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, she stops washing her hands. She closes the tap. She dries her hands on a clean towel. Every few hours, she turns on the tap and washes her hands. Ellie has very clean hands. She does not have many germs on her hands. 
Germs cannot live on her hands. So now that we have read it a second time, go ahead and look for your answers. Remember, when you're looking for your answers, please, please, please go back to the passage. Then the last one, you need to write our question words. And I know you know them because we have done them before. So take your time with both exercises. Make sure you color all the verbs in, on page 8. And on page 9, make sure that you find all your answers. I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. For our next exercise, boys and girls, let's turn to page 10. On page 10, we are going to be doing problem solving sums. Now remember, a problem solving sum is a math problem that needs you to solve it, not just by numbers, by making a sentence as well to help solve the problem. We are going to do number five together. Number five says, Mom buys me five new shirts. Each shirt costs 10 Namibian dollars. How much money will she spend? Let's read it again. Mom buys me five new shirts. Each shirt costs 10 Namibian dollars. How much money will she spend? So it is our job to find out how much money mother will spend. So the first thing we're going to do is take the numbers we have. We know that we have five new shirts. So let's take a look at the board. On the board, we have five new shirts as well. One, two, three, four, five. And we have put the price tag, which we are told that each shirt costs 10 Namibian dollars. So we have put the price tag on them. Now we want to know how much mother will spend. So do we add or do we subtract? Now, if we are going to buy all these shirts, like mother is buying hers, we are adding. So that means we need to add the price of each shirt to get our total answer. Now we know that each shirt costs 10 the million dollars and because we know how to do our decade numbers we are going to count in tens that way we'll be able to know how much money she will spend so let us count 10 20 30 40 50 so our answer is 50, which makes it 50 Namibian dollars. But we don't stop there, boys and girls. We need to make a sentence so that we answer our problem solving sum correctly. So we say, she will spend 50 Namibian dollars. And I'm going to write the sentence here. We will start with she Capital letter S because we are starting a sentence and then we say we'll spend Make sure that your letters are nicely written We'll spend And then what do we say? 50 Namibian dollars We always start with the dollar sign boys and girls, so we have our Namibian dollar sign and then we write our number, 50. And because this is a sentence, we put a full stop at the end. So our sentence now says, she will spend 50 Namibian dollars. And this is what I want you to do for all the other problem solving sums. You read it once, you read it twice, then you take your numbers out 
you decide whether you're adding or subtracting or sharing and then after that your answer must be in a sentence just like what we did on the board take your time have fun and i'll see you after the advert break do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you had so much fun. I know I did. Just make sure that if you don't know what to do or you're not sure, you can always ask an adult for help. Please promise me, though, that you will finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our lesson, we need to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing is a part of our cleanliness. We are trying to keep away from any germs that may harm us, such as coronavirus. So sanitize as regularly as possible. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. My friend Sashi said he was going to come and pick me up so we can go to the park together. I wonder if he's here. Oh, there he is. Just in time, Sashi. Are you ready to go? Wonderful. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Muir Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.